all right. I think we know what's coming next. Now, if you're like me and you've got ADHD, then you will not pack your suitcase until you absolutely have to, okay? I am in the middle of packing my suitcase. I got about 30 minutes to be out of this joint quick, fast. But if you have ADHD, you will not pack until there's an absolute emergency and you feel the need that you have to pack for those green lights. Yeah. Proud of them. The house is a mess. I'm a mess. I don't mind saying it. From the third floor of his hotel room in Argentina, he was staying at the Hotel Casa Sur in Palermo. He rose to fame as one of the founding members of the boy band One Direction. Liam Payne was 31 years old. Morning, everybody. Here's a little video of me. It's rude to put hats on the table. Sorry. Is it your hat? Yeah. Children. It's a lovely day here in Argentina. This is the breakfast table. I'm just eating an orange. Just enjoying coffee and breakfast, even though it's like 1 p.m. Literally, we sleep in every day until at least 12. We're such losers. <gasps> no. No. I feel like you're trying to make me say something rude. No. Yeah. Are you okay, Liam? Yeah, I'm good. Oh. Liam, you're the best musician in the entire world. <laughs> Thank you. Liam Payne's father has viewed tributes outside the hotel where his son died. As the star's former partner Cheryl says her son Bear has to face the reality of never seeing his father again. Payne, 31, died on Wednesday when he fell from the balcony of the third floor hotel room where he had been staying in Buenos Aires, Argentina. The girls allowed singer, who was in a relationship with Payne, from 2016 to 2018, also criticized abhorrent media coverage following his death. In Argentina, Jeff Payne was followed by a scrum of photographers as he visited the hotel, prompting fans to shout at the press and attempt to block the building's entrance to stop them entering. Mr. Payne's traveled to Buenos Aires after his son's death and the journey from his hotel to the Casa Sur Hotel was broadcast on Argentine television, despite family requests for privacy. Posting on Instagram, Cheryl said, As I try to navigate this earth-shattering event and work through my own grief at this indescribably painful time, I'd like to kindly remind everyone that we have lost a human being. Along with her statement, Cheryl shared a black and white image of pain with their son Bear and a broken heart emoji. As the reality of Liam Payne's death sets in, his family, friends, and former One Direction bandmates are still trying to make sense of the devastating loss while authorities press forward in their investigation into the circumstances surrounding Payne's final moments and fatal fall. Payne died Wednesday after falling from the third floor of the Casa Sur Palermo Hotel in Buenos Aires, Argentina. He was 31. His death remains under investigation Friday by local authorities, who are working to determine the nature of Payne's fall as more details begin to emerge. The public prosecutor's office in Argentina said Thursday that everything indicates that the musician was alone when the fall occurred. The prosecutor's office also suspects Payne, who was previously open about his struggle with addiction and his mental health, was potentially experiencing some kind of episode due to substance abuse at the time. A picture released by police in Buenos Aires Wednesday shows a table 
in Payne's hotel room, with items scattered across it, including unidentified white powder, crumpled tin foil, and a lighter. Some charred marks are also visible on the table. They also suspect he may not have been fully conscious at the time of his fall. Due to the position in which the body was found and the injuries from the fall, it is presumed that Payne did not adopt a reflexive posture to protect himself and may have fallen in a state of semi or total unconsciousness. The report read, Marcelo Roma, the prosecutor in charge of the investigation, confirmed the preliminary autopsy report, determined Payne's death was due to multiple serious injuries and six people believed to have witnessed Payne in the hours before he died spoke with local police in Buenos Aires on Thursday as part of the investigation into the singer's death. Two women, the musician's manager, and three hotel employees gave testimony to the city police. Authorities told CNN on Friday as investigators work with the prosecutor's office to reconstruct the events. The women who testified were with the British singer in his hotel room but had already left when his death occurred, according to the prosecutor's office. The results of the toxicological tests to determine if Payne was under the influence of alcohol or other substances at the time his death are still pending. On Wednesday, Buenos Aires police initially responded to the hotel after a staffer requested urgent police assistance via a 911 call to help with a hotel guest who was overwhelmed with drugs and alcohol and whose life they feared was at risk. According to the emergency call obtained by CNN's local affiliate, Todo Noticias. A report later released by the public prosecutor's office stated that a series of substances were seized from Payne's room that might indicate a prior situation of alcohol and drug consumption. Whether Payne jumped from the balcony of his room or accidentally fell remains unclear. Buenos Aires police previously told the Associated Press in a statement that they believe the former, but did not elaborate on how that conclusion was reached and referred CNN to the prosecutor's office for more information. Liam Payne's father has viewed tributes outside the hotel where his son died. As the star's former partner Cheryl says her son Bear has to face the reality of never seeing his father again. Payne, 31, died on Wednesday when he fell from the balcony of the third floor hotel room where he had been staying in Buenos Aires, Argentina. The girls allowed singer, who was in a relationship with Payne from 2016 to 2018, also criticized abhorrent media coverage following his death. In Argentina, Jeff Payne was followed by a scrum of photographers as he visited the hotel, prompting fans to shout at the press and attempt to block the building's entrance to stop them entering. Mr. Paines traveled to Buenos Aires after his son's death, and the journey from his hotel to the Casa Sur Hotel was broadcast on Argentine television, despite family requests for privacy. Posting on Instagram, Cheryl said, As I try to navigate this earth-shattering event and work through my own grief at this indescribably painful time, I'd like to kindly remind everyone that we have lost a human being. Along with her statement, Cheryl shared a black and white image of pain with their son Bear and a broken heart emoji.